Stephen and Carolyn, it's been an absolutely horrific day for everybody involved in this story. All the first responders from police officers and firefighters, of course, the victim's family. And like you said, this neighborhood in Dearborn Heights on Hip Street, people have been stopping by the house for the past two hours since we've been here. Several families, you can see the memorial growing in front of the house out here. Candles, also teddy bears. I've seen lots of small children stopping by the house and dropping things off. And as you know, this will take an awfully long time to heal. A neighborhood on Hip Street waking up stunned this morning after learning their friend and neighbor Faith Green was attacked this morning by her husband. Her four children killed. Those still in disbelief stopping by the house, leaving stuffed animals on the front doorstep. Michelle Carson clutching onto the family's dog this afternoon, looking after him for now. He had been hiding underneath the bed for 45 minutes until officers were able to find him. Carson reacting to the man who investigators say is behind these killings. What I'm getting is very possessive, I feel, and jealous and possessive and controlling person is the kind of person that he really and truly is. When a story like this comes out, everybody, especially people in this neighborhood, they want to know why. Why did this happen? Why did he allegedly have to take the lives of so many children? I'm being told there's possibly some sort of prayer vigil that may happen tonight or tomorrow. They're still working on the time for that to happen. But I know a lot of the neighborhood folks out here, they just want to gather and be together and pray for this family. Let's send it back to you, Carol. Yeah, that family is going to need a lot of prayers, especially that mother. Thank you so much, Aaron.